why you need qualitative interviews and quantitative measurements, plus a map of the complete idea space. My name is Mark Profit, and I'm the author of Predictive Innovation. And I was recently asked a question on Twitter that brings up a lot of really good points. What if the unmet needs are so clear that you can match them to your R&D pipeline? That's a great question. And I love that he's testing assumptions and generalizations. That's an important part of solving seemingly unsolvable problems. Well, the answer in one word is strategy. Are you trying to create a product or a business? So what is your goal? Are you trying to create a one-time flash-in-the-pan product or a profitable, sustainable business? There's nothing wrong with a one-off product for a short-term need. But as a business strategy, trying to do that tends to be much more risky and cost more than growing a product into a family of related products and services, especially if you have predictive innovation to show you what those will be four to five product generations on in the future. And competition. If the unmet needs are so clear, how are you gonna deal with competition? Because obviously, if they're that clear, they're clear to other people too. This is another point about risk and profitability. Also, prioritization. Which of the needs are most important? And which of the needs are most profitable? You can only get that by measuring. Will the product properly satisfy? What level of each benefit do the customers require to satisfy each unmet need? If you deliver something that's too low, they won't buy. If you deliver something that's too high, they also might not buy because the product could be too expensive. Either way, you miss customers and lose money you could have otherwise had. Time to deliver. How long does it take to get through the pipeline? Waiting until customers are screaming for a product makes it difficult to get the most value from the market. It also introduces tremendous risk. Someone else might satisfy it before you do, including customers. And short-term deadlines cause stress on developers and breed low-quality products. Too little, too late. If you're targeting a short-term product, then the amount of that market you can reach might not have enough value to give you a good return on investment. And even this would benefit from quantitative measurements. This is just some of the reasons why you need qualitative interviews and quantitative measurements plus a map of the complete idea space. The only way to know all of that is with predictive innovation.